my name is veera swami the other problem quite a few meditators face face if not lot of them 99% of them is how do i stop thoughts coming during my meditation during the meditation lot of thoughts will be crossing our mind and it will be difficult to focus on the breath without <coughs> looking at those thoughts or without being carried away by those thoughts it's a real challenge for everybody and it is expected to be there because there are lots of things which we have which we have not addressed at all for example right there is a burning problem at home right there is something which is burning at home and i am not solving it i have come out or i have gone to a <coughs> pyramid center and i am sitting there trying to do uh, meditation so that thought about that particular thing which i have not addressed will definitely cross my mind right without addressing that expecting that i should not be bothered my thought during my meditation uh, time will be a, an undue expectation so we have to necessarily look at those things which are due to be addressed by me the one thing is first in terms of our responsibilities towards our own people like your family members extended family members in terms of their expectations and also you should look at your own weaknesses because of those people maybe you are expecting your son to get an iit engineering seat but he is not up to the mark it may be bothering you right and second thing is in terms of your weaknesses everybody have their own set of weaknesses for example i may have i may have weakness towards certain types of food right if i am doing the meditation in morning it the thought may <coughs> cross my mind saying that okay afternoon where should i have my lunch should i go to bavarchi or this restaurant or that restaurant and that is going to affect my quality of my meditation the third thing is about our own egoistic feelings right for example uh, that somebody should respect me or somebody i should be able to go to them and trash them out right so this kind of things will always see our feelings of jealousy frustration fear so all these things will be crossing our mind because we have not addressed those things unless we address those things we cannot expect a quality time during our meditation so you have to be very honest in realizing what are my what are my attachments because of which i may be having <coughs> certain times so certain types of desires which i could not fulfill or which other people are not able to fulfill those things and then what are my weaknesses everybody should be honest enough to list down those weaknesses and nowadays you would have seen in the last few months couple of uh, the heads of the muts in karnataka right they got involved in sexual scandals right one head of the mutt was arrested and the head of the mutt he committed suicide both of both because of their weakness towards ladies right so all their soul all their years of uh, effort in meditation pranayam uh, their knowledge about scriptures all their preachings they have gone down the drain because of their one weakness which was about ladies right that is one of the weaknesses all of us we have our own set of weaknesses be it food or something or something else so these things will be breeding a lot of those challenges in our mind whenever you are free of work these things will be crossing our mind criss crossing the mind right so we have to address those sets of weaknesses whichever way that is possible for you so there is whole lot of science and uh, a <coughs> lot of uh, practices described for those things but the starting point is realizing i have this weakness unless you realize you will not be able to start anywhere because you don't realize it as a weakness the moment if the if in the environment there is something which is going to trigger you about that particular weakness for example in the example of those few people who were arrested or the one who committed suicide in his environment he came across people and to whom this person has easy access because of which that weakness has overcome him and did something which he was not supposed to do and he landed himself in troubles right so similarly our weaknesses also there can be a small weaknesses there will be there can be bigger weaknesses so you have to look at those things and address those things these small small things will help you improve the quality of your thinking quality of your <coughs> uh, work quality of your relationships because of which when you sit then in meditation your meditation will be free of thoughts unless you do these things expecting your half an hour or one hour meditation in the morning or evening to address all these things and that will be a wrong expectation 
See, in my own um, experience, when I returned to Vajag, which was my native place 15 years ago, the weekend, people at my home, my wife, my parents, um, they'll be sleeping at home and I would have nothing to do. That time I, I developed a weakness for going to uh, a movie uh, <coughs> during the weekends. So during the weaknesses, I developed a weakness to go to a movie theater and spend the time there. After a few weekends, I realized that I'm not able to uh, really overcome this. This is not a good thing to kill time going to a movie theater. What did I do? Like the way I would watch the breath, when the, when the thought was coming to me during a weekend to go to a movie, right? I would look at the thought. I would just look at the thought. I, I won't get involved in the thought saying that, okay, I should go to a movie, this movie. I would just look at it. When I was looking at it, it will, uh, it will weaken. Like, for example, if there is a policeman in the traffic or the traffic signal, uh, and if there is a pickpocketer around, and if the, the and the policeman is looking at everybody around, right? And this and this pickpocket will look at the constable, and he would think that okay, this man may watch me. And as this policeman is looking at everybody, not knowing that there is a pickpocket in the crowd, right? Then the pickpocket will not be having the strength to pick anybody's pocket. He will wait for a few uh, few minutes here and there, and he will disappear from the scene. Similarly. When any weakness is bringing out a related thought to you, look at the thought. Don't converse with it. Don't get into any kind of conversation with the thought. Just observe it. Just look at it. As if, for example, if you are preparing for an examination and your friend has come to you and the friend is asking you to uh, <coughs> come to him with a theatre to watch a movie and if you just look at the friend and you don't say anything to him. The friend will ask you once, twice, thrice or maybe four times, but you are not responding to him. The friend will go away. Your thought is also like that kind of that kind of person, right? Who is trying to right, pull you into some unwanted, unrelated thing. And if you can just maintain a distance from that thought, right? And just watch it, that will go away. This is how we address a lot of your weaknesses, right? Weaknesses are not letting you they make use of your full potential. The weakness is taking a lot of your time and because of which you are not able to <coughs> use your time for all quality things or uh, the uh, profitable things. So you have to get rid of your weaknesses. There are other things where you have expectations on your family members, right? Because of which you may get bothered. Your wife is not like this, your husband is not like this, the children are not coming up to your expectations, you have to realize one thing. Every person has his own life. Patriji used to tell, right? You are a vehicle for your children. And they are just using as a vehicle. And they are taking birth, but they have their own life, right? So you have to understand that and completely believe that and give your 100% to it. And you tell whatever you have to tell your children and wife or husband and give your 100% in terms of what is expected of you. Afterwards, you should not have any kind of expectations from them. It is up to them, it is their life. So the, the moment you drop your expectations, right, undue expectations, having done what you are supposed to do. So that is the precondition, that is the rider. You have to do what, you, what is expected of you and then drop your expectation. That is when, during your meditation, those people will not cross your mind. But without that, if you continue to have expectations on them, because of which you get frustrated, right? All those things are there. You cannot have a quality meditation time. So you have to look at your attachments. You have to look at your expectations on your loved ones. You have to look at your weaknesses and you have to address those things. And my sincere thanks to Pyramid Meditation Channel for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much.